you everyone for joining me today. Let's see what you've asked. What are healthy ways to deal with losing people in your life? This is always difficult uh, when we have a relationship or a friendship or maybe even, you know, something familial that was once really close and then suddenly there's distance there and, uh, you know, the, the past was better or maybe there's, there's no contact at all now. So what are healthy ways to deal with it? Uh, as always, you want to prioritize self-care. The most important thing is that you take good care of yourself. So eating well, exercising, getting enough sleep, being kind with your self-talk, getting some fresh air, whatever the things are that really build you up, that's, you know, that's the healthiest thing you can do in any situation where you're struggling. The other big one is, of course, acceptance. It's, it's easy to just be like, oh, but I wish it had been this way, or I wish it could have unfolded that way. But all of that wishing doesn't really change anything. It just causes you to ruminate and be frustrated and to forget that change is inevitable, that change is a part of life, that everything that we care about is going to come and go throughout our lives. That's just the nature of the human experience. And yes, that's going to be difficult, but it's much more difficult when we live in denial of that fact. And especially if we think that somehow we could have changed it, if we would have just said something differently or done something differently, we're dramatically overestimating our power in those situations. So start with self-care, then move on to acceptance and just allow it to be. And of course, continue to prioritize new connections. So if you start thinking, oh, well, I'll never meet somebody as cool as that person, so why bother? Or everybody comes and goes, so, so why meet new people? Then, you know, you don't want to fall into those traps. You want to continue to get excited to meet new people. Remember, identity is not fixed. So even when you have the same relationship in your life for a long time, it's, it's kind of weird to think about that as the same person. Like They've been many different people throughout their life, just as you'll continue to be many different people. So continue to create that new you, continue to appreciate the new versions of the people that you spend time with, but then continue to meet brand new people as well that you've never met before and to find joy and value in that. Celebrate the moment. Don't uh, fixate on the past or on future possibilities, but uh, if something's bringing you joy right here and right now, then there's nothing else to think about. There's nothing else to analyze. There's nothing else to do. Just embrace that and allow yourself to just be. And I think you'll find a lot of peace if you're able to do so. So thank you so much for asking. It's a tough question. It's a tough situation for us all to be in. But like I said, it's an inevitable part of life. So it's really important to accept this rather than to think that like something went wrong. <laughs> things played out the way that things play out. That's just how it goes. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you back here next time.